Located in northeastern New Mexico, the 4,000-acre Sugar Creek Canyon State Park is conveniently situated only 8 miles east of Raton and Interstate 25. The first stop should be the Visitor Center, where numerous photographs and artifacts depict life in Sugar Reek Canyon during its coal mining era from 1912 to 1941. The Friends of Sugar Reek offers hats, t-shirts, and books for sale to support the park's interpretation and maintenance projects. Here you can pick up free checklists for the birds, butterflies, mammals, common plants, and a park map. Be sure to check out the seed feeders located in front of the visitor center. With their large conical bills, black-headed grosbeaks are a regular visitor to the feeders during summer. It is commonly found during summer in open woodlands and forest edges of the western United States. The eastern fox squirrel is the largest tree squirrel in North America, a regular visitor to the bird feeders. Its large intimidating size quickly scares away any competition from the birds. Another squirrel that can be found here is the rock squirrel. It can be told from similar squirrels by its speckled grayish coat and long bushy tail, which is almost as long as its body. It inhabits arid canyons, rocky cliff areas, and large boulder piles in the southwestern United States and Mexico. Located behind the visitor center, a bridge crosses the Chikorica Creek. Look here in summer for the coral hair street. This distinctive butterfly has a very limited range in New Mexico. As with most hair streaks, it typically perches with its wings closed. The tiny russet skipperling can be found in areas of mud along the creek. The main identifying feature of this rather plain skipperling are the small white dots restricted to the forewing. The creek is also a good area to see the plains garter snake. This non-venomous snake has a distinctive orange or yellow stripes extending from his head to his tail. Other birds that can be seen at the visitor center are black-capped chickadee, pine siskin, and broad-tailed hummingbird. Continue along the highway and pull into the overflow area located across from the Lake Alice campground. From here you can walk upstream to the beaver pond or walk downstream along the three-acre Lake Alice. North America's largest game bird, the wild turkey, may be seen in the vicinity of Lake Alice Campground during the summer months. The impressive mating display of the males is a sight not to be missed in spring.
A common summer resident across much of western North America, the grayish western wood peewee has a peak crown and two pale wing bars. It typically perches on an exposed branch, looking for flying insects to snatch in midair, before usually returning to the same or a nearby branch. Despite its distinctive plumage, the spotted toy can easily be overlooked as it searches for food by scratching at leaf litter covered by dense undergrowth. Spring is a good time to hear and see the males advertising for a mate. Until 1995, the spotted toy and the eastern toy were considered a single species, the rufous side toy. The smaller lesser goldfinch is common along the Lake Alice Trail during summer months. As shown in this video, males have a black or green back and distinctive yellow underparts. Females and immatures have olive backs and dull yellow underparts. The beaver pond is a good area to look for the common whitetail. This dragonfly is present from June through September. Males typically perch on rocks, logs, and on the ground to await passing females. Territorial males also fly back and forth chasing away other males. Although more widespread in eastern United States, the banded hair streak is mainly restricted to west to Colorado and northern New Mexico. It can be found along the Lake to Lake Trail from late June through early August. The very distinctive and large western tiger swallowtail can also be found along the trail. With the wingspan up to 4 inches, even non-butterfly watchers will admire the beauty of this insect. The smooth green snake can also be found along the trail. Other birds along the Lake Alice Trail, Cedar Waxwing, Western Tanager, and Yellow Wobbler. Proceed up the canyon another two miles to the 120 acre Lake Maloya. As you proceed up the highway to Lake Maloya, be sure to keep your eye out for Monkey Rock. Before crossing over the dam, park near the vault toilet to explore the Lake Maloya Trail. During summer, in the early morning and late afternoons, you may see roosting turkey vultures near the trailhead. These large carrion eaters can be identified by their black plumage, 
combined with paler undertails and two-toned underwings. They often perch with their wings spread to catch the heat from the early morning sun before heading out to scavenge. The tiny and rather plain looking house wren builds its nest in tree cavities and nest boxes. The male may build several dummy nests, and the female will pick the nest of her choice to add lining and lay her eggs. The osprey hunts for fish by diving into the water surface from 30 to 100 feet above. After catching a fish, it uses its padded talons and long curved claws to help orientate the fish head first to reduce wind resistance. A pair of majestic ospreys nest each summer in the vicinity of Lake Maloya. From spring through fall, several pairs of Lewis's woodpeckers can be found around Lake Maloya. Unlike other woodpeckers, which drill holes in the trunks of trees for grubs, the Lewis's woodpecker fly catches from the upper snags of dead trees. Red-winged blackbirds breed in marshy areas with abundant cattails. They tear apart the cattails to feed on the insects hidden inside. In winter, they can form huge flocks with other blackbird species and starlings to feed on grains and agricultural areas, feedlots, and pastures. The muskrat is a fairly large semi-aquatic rodent that lives in freshwater and aquatic marshes. It can swim underwater for up to 20 minutes. Unlike the beaver, its tail is flattened vertically and acts like a rudder. Often referred to as the masked bandit, the raccoon is renowned for its nocturnal raids of garbage cans and dumpsters. Its regular diet consists of fish, frogs, crayfish, small rodents, nuts, fruits, and birds' eggs. The leashed chipmunk is the smallest and most widespread of North American chipmunks. Unlike some of the other chipmunks, it holds its tail upright when running. They are most active between April and October spending the winters in hibernation. The large and distinctively marked silver spotted skipper can be found from May through September. This individual is extracting salts and other valuable minerals from, well, you can guess what. Other birds along the Lake Maloya Trail, American Crow, Bald Eagle, and White-Breasted Nuthatch. As winter sets in, 
Many of the birds have flown south. Most of the mammals are hibernating. And many adult insects have died only to be replaced by their eggs that will be hatching in spring. One of North America's most range-restricted birds are the rosy finches. These birds breed in the most inaccessible regions of the Rocky Mountains and descend to the lower elevations in winter. Only during winter, all three species can be found in the same flock. Lake Malloy is one of the few places where all three species can be found together. The gray crowned rosy finch, brown capped rosy finch, and black rosy finch. Welcome back to Advent Nature. I'm Sheila. I'm Tony. As you can see, we're in the snow, so Silver's not going to be with us this time. We are currently at Sugar Creek Canyon State Park in northeastern New Mexico. We're currently standing on Lake Maloya on about 15 inches of ice at an elevation of 7,511 feet. We hope you enjoyed our video. If you liked it, please hit the thumbs up down below. Think about subscribing to our channel for many more adventures. Thank you. Have a good day.